Okay, this is the second part of making your side pieces of your shelf. Uh, go ahead and pause this video if you were confused about where all of the guidelines go. I went ahead and put some dimensions on, so each one of these guidelines are dimensions as appropriately. Alright, as long as you've gotten these written down, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those guidelines because it's just a little bit easier to see without these guidelines happening here. So I'm going to get rid of those get rid of the dimensions. I don't need those right now. Now we're going to go to our camera standard view ISO and this will show us how this is going to come out. It went ahead and made your angled piece here and things look good. Now we can round these corners off all along the edge if we like just like we did our other ones um, which is basically um, let me go back to the camera view here isometric view and we can make these little round pieces so that is basically coming up with a quarter inch piece here quarter inch guideline and then do the same thing here quarter inch guideline and then we can make our angled edge or if you want to do an arc we can most certainly do an arc um, probably should put one more guideline in here at a quarter inch we can put the arc here if we want we're physically not going to do this on our piece of wood but it makes it look kind of nice tangent to the edge I'm going to move this up so we can see it a little bit better. And this should be review from when we did our top of our shelf. And then pull it down tangent to the edge. And these can simply be followed around the edge with the follow me tool. Some of you may want to do this just for practice on that follow me tool because it is kind of handy when you're making some designs. Okay. Now we will go to the bottom and do the same thing. Follow me tool. Again, follow around the curves. And that should be about right, right there. Let's go look at that, what it looks like in the ISO drawing. Uh, let's move it around so it'll actually snap to the ISO this way. Camera, standard view, isometric, and that's what it looks like. Make sure you save it, and we're good.